What is up guys? Haley on here and today we are in Rock Valley, Iowa. I haven't been here in a while. It was windy as shit getting here. So hopefully there's no um, bug splatter on my lens. Uh, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about like what I scan for, you know, when I'm riding and stuff and Pretty much just talk to you guys and ride in general, but um, so I'm gonna get my blinker on, kind of watch what this Jeep's doing, see what else is going on here. Let's see what's new in this town. in the day. Pretty much looks the same. A couple stores moved around a little bit. That used to be a hardware store and I saw that it was moved over there. I think this is what we used to call Falco or something like that. Uh, we used to park our cars here and hang out all the time and there's a police officer over there. Um, Coldy's Bar right here. This is pretty much downtown. Um, there's the Q Bar over there. I don't know if that's open or not. I haven't gone to bars here in years. This is a very long light for no traffic. <laughs> I think this was the turn for the loop right here. Back in the day, I don't think they have a loop anymore, but um, these were apartments back in a day here. I used to party with some friends up there. I don't even know where to go in this town anymore, man. <laughs> Basically when you're riding, you just want to like scan for everything, like bumps, um, potholes, and like even when you stop or yield or something, especially when you stop, you want to definitely check out your terrain, um, where your feet are going to go and everything. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot about this church. used to turn here for the loop. A lot of memories in this town. A lot of good memories. Oh, there's a rider up there. advisor on right now like how is that different from you know your car where you're safer in and you can't have tint in Iowa like under 70% but whatever I think they're trying to pass that law actually like make like I thought they were gonna go 20 but they thought that that was too dark and they're gonna uh, change it to 35% light transmission which would still be cool. Yeah, the loop, you could either go right or left, or I mean, uh, right or straight. Um, we'll just go straight. And then, yeah, you turn right up there and then you loop around. I'll show you guys. This stop sign, their stop light wasn't always here. It used to be a stop sign. There's like a lot more lanes now. Right above. 
above this hill here. Yep, there it is. And I'm watching for gravel in this turn here. It might not look like it on the GoPro, but I'm turning my head uh, and looking to see where my bike is gonna go. Um, one really cool thing that I heard someone say is don't ever let the bike catch up to you. You always want to be ahead of the bike. Meaning like, um, you know, at certain speeds, if, if you encounter something and you, you're not ahead of it, you're, you know, like a pothole or something, you're not ahead of it, you're going to hit it. Like pretend that's a pothole right there. I just moved out of the way because I saw it way back there. ride here much so you know you just don't really know these streets oh they still have a radio shack what <laughs> why did I get so excited about that sunshine foods I think that was a vans back in the day um, and then for like the, the rest of the loop you just head down back that way but I don't want to go that way I'm gonna go left here and look around there's a park there should be a pool to my right also watching for gravel checking my turn looking ahead There's the pool right there. Man, everything used to look and seem so much bigger, but now like everything is just tiny to me. Holy shit, is that a lot of gravel right there? What is that? Oh wow, yeah, that is a lot. to a stop so just looking at the stop and you know where you're gonna plant your feet and where your bike's gonna end up and everything um, uh, I used to hang out in this neighborhood a lot when I was a kid I had a friend named Eddie that lived in this house and that used to be a garage or something and then they changed it into a party room I'm pretty sure that first house that I showed you uh, Eddie says I think that's like the first place where I made out with a girl <laughs>